Okay, this guy on YouTube, like I said, has mentioned here in the email, if any of you would like to read. Um, like I said, I will be putting this on social media and YouTube and everywhere. I'm absolutely tired of this as I am. An incident, as stated there, happened on the 22nd of the 8th, Watt Road, Oxford. Six innocent people arrested. Two people that caused the argument rang the police on them. Not arrested, not charged, not nothing. Apparently, how can a person who's in their 30s be scared of someone who's only 20, well, was 22 at the time? I mean, absolutely ridiculous. I mean, right into people like the media, the Sun, Oxford Mail. I've simply had enough. And like I said, what am I someone meant to do? Solicitors don't want to do nothing. So it's just a case of absolutely taking this to my own hands, really. I will be going to court over this, even if I had to represent myself. This just shows how disgusting the police are actually in this country. I mean, I don't even want to... It just makes me sick even talking about the amount of shit that's gone on in this city over the years. Um, Dr David Kelly got killed for exposing sort of a false war that was going to happen. And we invaded Iraq for no reason. Um, Paedophiles not properly getting investigated. I mean, although this is, has nothing to do with this case in particular, I mean, geez, like, Oxford Police, Thames Valley Police, man, like, sort it out, like, two different people investigating my case and they can't even get our summaries right, like, one wrote back to my mum thinking my sister's daughter was my mum's daughter. And then there was two people present at the crime as well, Amelia and her partner, James. They witnessed everything, yet they was allowed to leave this night. Yet my brother and me allowed to walk into a crime scene where children might have been present or they was taken away at this point. But when a 999 call was made, there was children present, so police have been actually stood outside twiddling their thumbs, doing nothing, allow my brother and me just walk in and then put us in harm's way and anything could happen. We could have been wiping down evidence or anything, any madness, and then my mum's gone to the toilet and then they've allowed her to wash her hands and um, potentially get rid of evidence. But we're all innocent. There were six innocent people arrested that night. They're trying to stick some madness on my sister, although she's got bruises as stated here. I mean, I just had enough of it, like, tick for tat, and it, like, if you want to play about, I'm going to play about, like, as simple as that, but what you've got to realise, yeah, as I'm talking to the establishment and everything here, like, I'm talking to the Crown, the government, anyone, like, do not mess with me, because you're not above the law, and you're not above God's law, like, it's as simple as that, really, like, I could run on here for ages, but I'm taking too much time out of my day, nearly every day as well, to sort this out and I've just simply had enough of it like yeah like I said tick for tan it like you you keep going and I keep going it's as simple as that yeah and trust like if a solicitor don't want to do I'm going to have to hire one or represent myself because it is simply not on like it's not even about the views it's a bloody it's just a sad cheek of it man like please just like share this and it share this and if you've ever had any problems with the police yourself please in it comment in the videos and i'd like to actually hear your stories to be fair because boy like thames valley police are an absolute joke ain't it like and as for the media man you must be controlled as hell like look i say it here the, the oxford mail the whitney gazette the sun itv like i don't know how many of you are shielded out in it and sold out your souls and everything yeah but what actually happened to good old journalism man like you have that obsessed with celebrities and that lot, like who gives a shit about celebrities? Like, there's real shit going on in the world, like drug smuggling, human trafficking, this whole fucking thing with Prince Andrew and Jeffrey Epstein and Glenn Maxwell. Like, please, and like, even if I just said early on in this video, there was children present when this shit was going on, and police are just way too cowardly to even go inside a property see if like children are like. I'm sure like they have to do an oath and. They forget. They serve us. It's not the other way round. Like, their obligations to us, we don't serve them. They serve us. 
we pay taxes, they don't. You know what I mean? Like, please, don't get a fucking grip. 